Hello everyone and welcome to EJS, I mean JavaScript Embed Templating Engine that will help us to build our Node application to the whole new level. So first of all, we will focus on one of big three uh, templating. It will be EJS. I will show you what we can do by using EJS and what you can achieve. It will be very basic to let you understand and build some kind of application by yourself. Okay, to make it happen, you need to just run your IDE. And inside your IDE, you need to do two things. First of all, it will be to npm init y to initialize our node.js application. And then npm install express JS and that will be all of course what we'll need now we need to create very simple index JS and inside that index JS we'll need to have two libraries module imported so cons express equals express it will handle our routes and const EJS equals require EJS to handle our EJS template. And what next we need to achieve, what we need to do is very simple because we need to set that EJS as an engine. So app that set, sorry, first of all, we need to const app equals express and app that set view engine as EJS. The next step that we will need to create, need to do, is to create some kind of routes. To make some routes, we'll make very easy and without any problems routes. So it will be very easy going route with the main page. And we'll just render something like main there. I will tell you why later on. And the next thing we will need to have, for example, um, stats. And we'll create that also. So rest that render and we'll call it stats. Okay, so we are almost ready to go. We've got our get. And the next thing that we'll need to do inside when we would like to create our view engine, I mean templating engine, we need to set it as, as you can see, as a view engine inside there. And to make it happen, to make it work, we need to go inside our EJS folder and create a folder called views. And inside that views, we will create main EJS file and also the second file was stats so stats that ejs okay so the first thing that we would like to have inside our ejs is something like includes so it's called partials someone called includes because you need to include something inside your html file so i mean ejs equals html it's almost the same, but with some kind of differences. So to make partials, or if someone would like to call it includes, we need to create the folder, for, for example, inside that views and partials create that folder. Inside that folder, we can, for example, create header that EJS and inside that header we can create header and we can create welcome to our EJS website. And the next thing that we'll, we can do with that header is to go to our main page and with some magic, I mean, we can create the opening bracket, percentage site and minus include and inside the parentheses you need to provide the path so it's inside partials slash 
adder. And you can go with the ending sign. We will just create also hello from main side. And the next thing, we need to create some kind of stats, but we'll later on go in there. To check if everything's work correctly, we should go to node, to our terminal, write node, index.js. But of course, we need to also listen on port and console.log, whatever our server is running. And with that in mind, we need to rerun, go back, go there, and welcome to our EJS website, hello from main. We can see whenever we only include our H2 tag over here. So as you can see, if you would like to create some partials, I mean headers, footers, and so on and so forth, you should use partial slash includes to make it happen to make it work. So that's not the all things that EJS provides to us. We can also control the flow of some kind of JavaScript code directly. So we can use this to create some kind of dynamic content. And to do that, we'll need to create some, for example, dummy data and inside our stats, we'll create that dummy data here. So let's, for example, users, it will be the table, and inside the table, we'll provide, for example, John, he will, he will have age, and also we will provide premium, for example, true. And we can create some of the Johns also to our database. So we'll need three of them, for example. The next thing will be Jane, and we can make Bob the H. Whoa, whoa, it's not that important. And the last thing that we will have to provide is false. Okay, so right now we have to understand how the renders how we render the application and to render our application we need to do we need to create one two things sorry we need to render the name of the file that we provide inside our view so for example when our main that we would like to render here will be inside for example some folder called main page slash main we will have to provide main page slash main the path that will be relative to the views folder okay so if we know that we can provide something like that we also can render not only the page but also the date that we will we would like to send to that page and to make it happen we will just pass users to our render we of course can make something like that and inside our stats we will also provide the header so to make it happen I will just copy and paste to show you how that includes working okay there will make some stats or users it doesn't matter and the magic will happen so we'll need to open braces percent sign and over here we will be able to go through and to loop through our database or inside in our case it's not database inside our things that we can allow to we can show our users so it's like dummy database in our case so we pass users as I remember uh, yeah and that for each user and right now we need to open it delete that things 
and close. The next important thing that we can see there is the EJS can be only written inside line, one line. So if we would like to close that for each loop, we need to create that in that way that I just done. So first we created the for each loop and after in the next line we, for example, not delete it but finish it. Right now we would like to have, for example, p tag and we've got the name, age and premium. For example, user that name will be called there. Also, we can call, for example, in p tag user dot age, but we, we would like to uh, get the value from the variable. So some kind of data. As you can see, when we include, we need minus sign. When we create some kind of functions, for example, functions, sorry, loops, if statement, we only need braces and percent sign. But whenever we would like to get inside the variable, we need to add also equal sign at the end. And with that, you will be able to create and get your data. And we can create it like that. And the last thing, we will also provide some kind of if statement because someone would like to have and check if something works. So if user that premium, so we will check if it's a premium user. In our case, we open, of course, close it. Remember to close it right now. And to close it, we need to create only the closing braces over here. And inside our if statement, we'll, for example, provide, well, you are premium. If whenever we would like to also, for example, provide the else, we can also provide the else here. So we not don't have to only, for example, close our if statement. We can also provide the else statement, as if or something, whatever you would like to have over here. And we'll have, for example, h2 who, who you are not premium user. Okay, and with that in mind, we will just create node index.js and we can, for example, create something like that. We'll comment our site change the stats and save it right away. And with that, we'll re-render. And when we re-render the page, as you can see, we've got John, Jane, and Bob. As, as you can see, John and Jane has a premium and Bob does not have, that's why you have that message. So to use the EJS, to use it wisely and to use it in a good way, you should to know free sign first includes and some kind some persons call it partials that you can include an, another html in that case ejs file inside your folder for example you can uh, get the nav bar footer header whatever you would like to have the next thing you will have to remember that there is minus sign if you are using some kind of loops or if statement, remember, you don't have to, after that percentage sign, use an minus, equal sign, whatever, you don't have to, you shouldn't use it. When you, you are like to have inside the variable, what's inside the value of that variable, you should use the equal sign. Of course, there is the one more thing that I would like to show you, which is very important to know. And with that, you, it can be very tricky for some of you to get inside the CSS, how to get and create the CSS file. And to create the CSS file and 
make it work, we need to have a path. Path, sorry, path. Okay, and when you have our path, we need to create one ping. So app that use. That's why we also need express. Express that static and path that join because we would like to have the name where we will provide our CSS or JS file in that case. It will be directory name, so where we are, and it will be on the public folder in our case. And it should be inside our public. Oh, I had to rename it. Public. Okay. And inside the public folder, you would have to create, for example, styles.css. Inside that CSS, we'll create, for example, background color. It will be aqua. Maybe not perfect, maybe not good, but it should work. For example, inside our header, we can also provide the style CSS. And as you know, to provide our style CSS, we would like to have the head. So when we have a head, we would like to go to our link. Well, it will be whoa, whoa. style sheet text. It will be text.css if I remember correctly. And the last thing will be ref. So wherever you it is, it's inside our public, so it should work in that way. Right now, we will rerun, go back to our website, and as you can see, our CSS is working, working correctly. So that's all when we are talking about EJS, when we are talking about CSS with EJS, when we are talking about working with EJS. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you like, leave a like. If you like very much, leave a subscription. I hope to see you at the next episode. Have a good day. Bye.